Good evening, I'm Kevin Shuker and this is Health Fox. Tonight I'm coming to you from Bonobo's Restaurant here on 23rd Street in New York City and we have an extraordinarily amazing guest, David Wolf, author, raw foodist, star of Mad Mad House and David's in town promoting his new book. So David, tell us a little bit about your book. Well, about five years ago was the first time I ever had tried raw cacao beans. And I was always told by my friends who gave them to me in Hawaii, just throw them in a smoothie, throw them in a smoothie. And I wasn't really a big chocolate fan since that time I was a teenager, so I never really thought about eating them. One day, a few years after that, my friend said, hey, have you ever just peeled one and eaten a cacao bean? That's right, the raw right. chocolate nut. And I never had, so as soon as I ate it, I had basically signed on the dotted line with the cacao god in that moment. And that's how this book came to fruition. It was, it started that night and just continued and it became the, the preeminent project in my life. Absolutely. Well, I know we're all excited about cacao. We've heard you speak on it here in New York before an aphrodisia party, which was a great event. Um, Show us this book. What's, what's this? Naked Chocolate. That's quite a provocative title you have there. It's really interesting. that The day that that happened in Hawaii, I was with a very good friend of mine, Shazzy, who kind of does what I do in the UK. She's a preeminent raw foodist and kind of an educator over there. Right. And we were in Hawaii together, and then we went to Amsterdam together. And during that time, we, we conceived of the name and the structure and the recipes in this book. Okay. And then it just, it just flowed from there. She handled a lot of the photography and graphic arts. I handled a lot of the research and the writing. Right. And we just really worked together to create this, this book. And what do you have in there? You have different recipes, how people can eat chocolate, and um, I suppose a lot of technical details as well. well what are the if you could just give us a quick run, what would you say are the greatest qualities of raw cacao beans? Raw cacao beans are the number one food source of magnesium, the number one food source of chromium, the number one food source of antioxidants, wow. probably overall the best brain food in the world, and probably the funnest food to eat ever. Oh, yeah? And so what we've done is we've co combined a lot of recipes, at least 60 different recipes. We have done the technical research in terms of the pharmacology of cacao beans, right. the, the, not just the minerals, but also the whole thing about theobromine and caffeine. Actually, cacao beans contain no caffeine or 1 20th of what's in a coffee bean, wow. which is de minimis. It's essentially a, an insignificant amount of caffeine. Right. Um, so doing that kind of research, and then also the history of chocolate, which is by far the most amazing history of any single food in the world. I mean, everybody in the world eats chocolate but we're all eating chocolate that has dairy products in it and it's a cooked product. Whereas now this is an opportunity to move to its raw state, which is far more exciting. Where do these, where do these chocolate beans come from? I'm really into the chocolate beans that come out of Ecuador. Okay. One of the reasons is, is because Ecuador traditionally has grown the best cultivars of cacao in the world. And the ones that I'm really into are Theobroma cacao, Criollo aromica. That's the exact derivation. Yeah. It's actually a blue colored fruit the skin of the fruit that cacao comes from, it's a nut that comes from a fruit, the skin of that fruit is blue, and of course blue foods are always magical. I once tried sprouting them, I don't know if you've ever tried that, and I was quite surprised, they kind of like broke up and came like gelatinous around the outside of it, and I, I ate them, and it was, it was a different kind of experience. Have you ever tried sprouting um, cacao beans? Well, Kevin, today is your lucky day because I have sprouted cacao beans uh, here uh. for all takers who are willing to take them home and plant wow. them in their, inside their, their windows. Yeah, that's yeah, great. It's a, it is an incredible fruit. I mean, it is the greatest fruit in the world. And when they sprout and you have the little trees growing in your house, which I do at home, it's a fantastic wow. thing. Yeah, and the energy is amazing. And do they, they bear beans even when they're a small plant, or do they have to grow a certain they height? Have, before? They'd have to be about four or five years old, but they right. will bear inside a greenhouse in a northern climate, meaning wow. they'll bear fruit indoors, which is extremely unusual for a tropical fruit tree. Wow, that's incredible. So we can all um, be planting cacao trees. Absolutely, so right, at home, definitely. Yeah. And I know you're, you're a great advocate for planting uh, fruit trees as well, so now we can have fruit trees and cacao trees. You got it. Wow. Right. That sounds like a great plan to me. So we want to thank David very much, and uh, good luck with the book, David. How could people contact you if they wanted to find out more about the book or order the book from you? Um, the website that I've been affiliated with for many years is rawfood.com and davidwolf.com, W-O-L-F-E. And another way of contacting me is um, coming to an event that we do here in New York City or even uh, a retreat and that information is available on rawfood.com. Great.
Well, again, thank you very much, David, and we look forward to a really exciting lecture this evening on raw cacao beans. Thanks so much, Thank man. you. Thanks, Good Kevin. job, bro. Yeah. Cool. That was good. Right on. Right on.